Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 18 November, mid month here. Just looking at this ZB chart. Things ripe for a sell. Not just, just not sure where yet. I guess this would be the line. Sort of top of this channel type deal. <clears throat> so we still got some room. We're sort of middle of this recent 75, 69 range. Um, but this is going to be sort of near the 61.8. I won't draw the fibs here for you now. But even on these big moves back up, uh, we feel like the trend in ZB is lower. You just have to be patient because you got the elephants on the bid, uh, central banks. Um, but this has to go lower in our minds. And so we're going to try and sell high ones. Let's say today between 73.20 and 74.10. That's ZB. We're short some dollars because of this ZB chart. As bonds go higher, the dollar goes lower. Bonds are driving the bus right now. Interest rates are driving the bus. It's not risk on. It's not risk off. It's interest rates. This line here is of interest as, you know, 10-year trend line. This will be watched closely by all of the big real money guys. What's a real money guy? A real money guy is a guy who's hedging shit, right? So if he's a asset manager based in Germany and he wants to hedge his NASDAQ, his NASDAQ, he buys euro dollar. If it's a bank who trades NASDAQ and gets dollar com dollar based commissions, he's going to buy euro dollar. Um, and a lot of these banks and asset managers and companies do some passive hedging so they don't really hedge, especially recently in recent years where volatility is so incredibly low. Um, and the trend in the euro has been lower. So if you have dollar-based revenues and the trend in euro is lower, you want to hedge less. A break through this line here, I think, is going to wake a lot of people up and might turn the hedging machines on. So this is why this needs to be watched closely. Um, we talked about it yesterday. This is probably going to be the bingo number, 119.21. Uh, we're running a cautious long here, which is well early in probably doesn't make a ton of sense because this is also I mean we'll treat it as a break trade because that's how we trade um, once we get through 50 we'll get conviction long um, but for those who are mean reversion you want to sell into this so you want to maybe fade stops through 119.20 between 20 and 50 um, and this has paid for 10 years. You sell this line, it's paid. Paid up here, down to here, paid up here. This was 139, bang. That was a good 30 handles. This was the beginning of QE, for those of you who weren't even born in 2015. What an amazing trade that was. European QE. People in the West didn't really even understand what QE was at the time. Um, but of course, foreign exchange watchers who have seen Japan do it we all knew but um, we'll see what happens here I mean uh, this is a much more shallow bounce on 20 down to 116 looks like she wants to break to me anyway be patient wait just pointing it out whether you want to sell against it or buy through it have your plan ready it's an important line um, cable, you know, snitching higher with uh, dollar weakness. This is going to go to 140 uh, on, on a positive Brexit headline. Kind of where it belongs, right? We've been down here in the 30s and 20s for years now. But people forget fair value in cable is probably 148, uh, maybe even 150. So there's room on the upside. 
fits with this weaker dollar theme. Uh, is today the day we're going to get that news? I don't think so. Uh, but you never know. Do you want to have stops in the market at 133.17 just in case? Yes, you probably do. Um, you need to manage those diligently. Just like yesterday through 132.40, we had a few stops there. And we managed it diligently, right? 40 paid, 30 given, 50 bid. We hit the 55s. All of a sudden, your average is 25. And then you can sit. Um, and you can wear the the volatility. This is what the volatility looks like on the 15-minute chart. Uh, you can see up through 40, bang, bang, bang. But then we get down to 19. Um, no, sorry, down to 31, 60. And then we haven't been below 40 cents, but you had plenty of chances to buy down here. By the way, that looks like a short-term pivot on the day, this 40 level. Um, but anyway, if you have stops on the top side, in case there's news, you do have to manage them diligently because there's always hysterical uh, vol, and you got to watch for your slippage. Dollar yen on its knees. Everyone got so bullish as rates were going way, way higher. Now rates are collapsing and everyone's getting so bearish. Um, I'm not chasing this here. We're expressing our dollar shorts through the euro, euro dollar market. Uh, but this doesn't look too robust, does it? Looks like that could continue to go down. I don't know. It's also right around the 61.8 here. Um, could turn also. No dog in that fight. Euro yen just dicking around. Nobody cares. Sterling yen dicking around. Dollars are. Looks like she wants to uh, attack this 1520 level. This is gonna. This is gonna turn hysterically at some point. Maybe 15 will be the low. Um, Czar strength makes no sense except for positioning. Um, there's no carry. There's no political will. Um, there's no leadership. Economy is tanking. Uh, when this does turn, it'll be it'll be a beautiful, beautiful trade. But it's not turning yet, and it looks like we're going to make even further lows. So patience on this. Um, where does it get hysterical? 114. I mean, sorry, 14. And for those of you who are like chronic dollars are bulls, you'll probably go insane even thinking about it at 14. But it could it could go there. Um, you know, FX can go anywhere, and it's more of a function of positioning than it is global macro drivers. So if people are stubbornly long this, there's more pain to come, and that's what it feels like. We had no dog in this fight. Uh, we'll be watching this 15, 22 level closely. There's probably some money to be made uh, on the day. We see that. Dollar max, as you can imagine, is going to be a similar chart. I was looking at this this morning. There's some weird lows here at 23.87. Just the last couple of days. So there's obviously a bid there. Um, when that goes, could see further downside. Seems a long, long time ago. Two weeks ago, we were up at 22. That was that 4 a.m. bar. Christ, motherfucker. Scorched earth. We were all short dollar max for that. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Aussie watching 73.40, dicking around down here. This this one kind of is tracking risk off a little bit as um, as ES kind of slipped through the net. This thing kind of went down a bit, but um, ES down at 94 now. What was a low 91? 
Aussie employment, if you're, it, so in Europe it'll be late tonight, it'll be Wednesday morning, early, early Wednesday morning, if you're in North America, it'll be late Wednesday night, this will be important, and this might be the thing that breaks us through the top, if risk comes back and the Aussie numbers are strong, this is a beautiful trade up through 40, but until then, she's sagging a bit, could easily just collapse as well if risk collapses. So we have no dog in this fight, but we are watching the 40 level. Aussie yen, as you can imagine, is getting smoked with dollar yen and Aussie going left today. What does that daily look like? Hmm. Not buying the risk off just because of the financial conditions indexes at all time lows. So we're the all time loosest financial conditions. It's going to be hard for stocks to collapse. Kiwi, not doing anything. Dollar CAD, not doing anything. Turkey, who cares? Let's look at Bitcoin. Bang, up to 18,005. You can start feathering out of your longs now. This is a spooky little, this bar is a little spooky. You can see the market's getting awfully crowded. Um, so all of those Mondays where you dollar cost averaged, you can start to just take profit on some of these positions, get yourself an average. Bitcoin looks like she's going to kick the market in the balls here. Why not at uh, your testing basically all-time highs? What was this one here? That was 20,000. Don't be a dick for a pip is what they say. If you've been long since 8,000 this year and uh, you were able to wear this move down to four, it's time to get your average better. Um, because can we revisit 8,000? Of course we can. It's Bitcoin. Christ. You know. Think about it, if the DEA gets a hold of all those Bitcoins from Silk Road uh, that are quote-unquote missing, they're going to sell that shit, right? That's $4 billion worth of Bitcoin. Um, a lot of things can happen in this market, so just be wary. Listen, I'm talking a lot. There's not a lot to say. We're, we're cautiously short a very social amount of euro dollar. Uh, and then we're watching these levels. Uh, we're watching Aussie, which is not close. We are watching the euro dollar trend line, which is not close. Um, oh, yeah, we're also watching euro sterling downside. This looks like she wants to turn. You can see here we dribbled down, down to 40. I think you can be core short this. Um, today euro sterling so we're running a little bit of euro sterling core short but again social amounts fx is dull right now volatility is muted be patient people ciao 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 ciao